أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب سر سري ويسر الأمري ولقد تم لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله my elders brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and my elders brothers and sisters in humanity greetings to you all in this short video i will be debunking and disproving this myth of jesus being god incarnate of jesus being almighty god and this video the topic is who is the lord of heaven and earth who is the creator of heavens and the earth because according to the concept of trinity in the first epistle of john chapter number 5 verse number 7 if we check the creed the father the son and the holy ghost these three were involved in the creation of the heavens and the earth the first epistle of john chapter number 5 verse number 7 says for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So according to the creed, the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Ghost is God, but there are three gods but one God. And the creed goes on and says that the Godhead of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit is one. The glory equal the majesty co-eternal and it says that in fact according to the creed it says before all things were made there was god the son the second person of the trinity co-eternal with the father and the spirit existing from the beginning all three persons of the trinity the father the son and the holy spirit active in the work of creation. So according to the Athanasian Creed, the Father, the Word, that is the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all three were involved in the creation of the heavens and the earth. Now we have to go and find out in the Bible. We have to go to the Old Testament and see what God says, God says about himself. What is the proof? The Bible says, prove all things. In the first Thessalonians, chapter number 5, verse number 21, prove all things. So let's go to the Bible and see what God says about himself. If you read the Bible, this verse is an evidence, I'm going to quote, is an evidence against this concept of Trinity. This idea that Jesus was involved in the creation of the heavens and the earth. You read the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24, God himself in the Bible says, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretch, stretch out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. I'm asking you, where, where is partnership in this verse? I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretch out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. In this verse, God is emphasizing his oneness, his uniqueness. Can there, be, can, can there be a clearer proof? My brothers and sisters, the Almighty God is one Lord. He is the creator, the only creator of the heavens and the earth. Trinity is of obligation. And if you go to the New Testament, Jesus says something interesting. It shows you that the Trinity is an adulteration. A concoction. This verse is in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25. Jesus says, I praise you, Father, Lord of the heavens and the earth. Who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Jesus said, Almighty God is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Can there be a clearer proof, my brothers and sisters, that Almighty God is only one Lord? 
He has no partner. He created the heavens and the earth without any partner, without any assistance from anybody. You read the Bible. Let's go. Furthermore, what God says about him, said the Bible. It is mentioned in the book of Isaiah again, chapter number 42, verse number 8. God says, I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Again, emphasizing his uniqueness, his oneness. Follow me in the Bible. God says, again, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, verse number 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. Again in the Bible, Almighty God is emphasizing his oneness and his uniqueness. Can I declare a proof? My brothers and sisters, that Almighty God is only one Lord. And the Trinity is a fabrication. Follow me in the Bible. In the book of Isaiah again, chapter number 40, verse number 25. God says here that, to whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal? Says the Holy One. Again, Almighty God in your Bible, emphasizing his oneness and his uniqueness. Follow me in the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 40, verse number 18. It says, to whom will you compare God? What image will you compare him? What image will you compare him to? To whom will you compare God? What image will you compare him to? Again, the Bible is emphasizing the oneness, the, uni the uniqueness of Almighty God in the Bible. You cannot compare him to anybody. But here today, today, millions of people around the world are comparing God, comparing Jesus to Almighty God. When Jesus himself, there is no way in the Bible why he says he is God, why he says he worship me. He goes to the glorious Quran in Surah Al An Am, chapter number 6, verse number 14. He said, Kul agar Allah Say, Tell them, shall we take for ourselves anybody other than Allah as our protector, as our wali? When he is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Our Lord, our protector, our cherisher, he is the originator, the creator of the heavens and the earth. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, when it is he who feeds, but is not fed. So in this verse of God's Quran, he's telling you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, is the creator of the heavens and the earth. In the Bible, in your Bible, God himself says it again. Same thing. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself, by myself. No partner, no Jesus, no Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, can that be clear or proof that Almighty God is one and one Lord? If you go to the Old Testament, Moses speaks on him. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4, he says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. You go to the New Testament, in the book of, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verses number 28 to 29, that a man came to Jesus and said, Which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus speaks on him, said, The first of all the commandments is, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God, including Him. He did not say the Lord your God, but the Lord our God, including Him. Because one of John, chapter number 20, verse number 17, Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, Touch me not, for I am, your, I am not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascended to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Jesus had a God. He was a God. Jesus was only the messenger. 
the Messiah sent to the children of Israel. He was not God. He was not equal to God. Trinity is a fabrication. Almighty God is the only creator of the heavens and the earth. I do not want to digress. This video is about all about who is the Lord of heaven and the earth. And as you can see, the Lord and heaven, the Lord of heaven and the earth is Almighty God, only one Lord. Now we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. The only religion acceptable to Almighty God is Islam. Which means submit your will to Almighty God. And do not associate any partners with him. Jesus himself says that I can of myself do nothing. I can of myself do nothing. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. As I hear I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Now I'm going to end this video with a powerful quotation from the Golden Quran, a powerful verse. The most powerful verse in the Quran. The Quran has 114 surahs. We call it chapters. 6,236 verses. And the most powerful verse is called Ayatul Kursi. This verse is in, the, in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 255. Allah la ilaha illahu Allah la ilaha illahu wa qayyum la taqzu sinatu wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati ma fi al-ard man dha allazi yasu'u da'u illa bi isni ya la ma bayna aydihi wa ma kalfahu wa la yujinu bi shay'in in min ilmi illa bi ma sha wa sakrusi samawati wal ard wa la ya'udu zihma wa huwa al the meaning is Allah there is none worthy of worship except him except him the ever living the one who sustains and protects all that exists. Neither slumber, no sleep overtakes him. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. Who is it that can intercede with him except with his permission? He knows what happens to them, that is his creatures in this world and what will happen to them in the, in the after. And they cannot encompass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. He is cursing that is his throne, extends over the heavens and the earth. And he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. And he is the most high, the most great. Wa kradawana, wa alhamdulillahi, rabbil alameen.